first thought was, do we want to try? Because all the emotions come back up and then the roller coaster of getting pregnant, got, not getting pregnant. Can I get pregnant? Should I be pregnant? If I get pregnant, can I keep the pregnancy? We decided we were going to try again. and um, It just happened we got pregnant the first try. Um, we did have to go through fertility again and it worked out. Um, we were ready. We, I mean, we want to be parents. I mean, that's important to us. I'm not really worried now. I think the closer we get, because nothing happened at this point last time. Right. But I think once we get towards the end, then I'm going to be yeah. really stressed. six weeks the thoughts are um, please be alive you know like um, every time he's not moving I'm like okay move, make him move try to get him to move even though I feel her like kicking all the time and I know she's okay it's just it was such a surprise the first time that I just imagine it happening again I go in the hospital to have my NSTs and I think oh good I get to check in see the baby and then as soon as they hook me up I'm panicking because is this a good heart rate? Is this a bad heart rate? I am being seen more frequently, which makes me feel a lot better. Um, you know, and uh, so that's good. And we've had a lot more ultrasounds than we did last time. Um, but I just kind of keep thinking about how excited everyone's going to be. Um, where last time it was so sad. Um, my aunt actually had a dream that before we got pregnant that we were going to get pregnant with a girl and everything was going to be fine. Um, Amy actually talked to a psych uh, uh, psychic, and the psychic told her that she was going to bleed in July with this pregnancy, really? which was crazy, because I don't believe in that stuff. I, I think the thing that's kind of more reassuring to me is that this baby is so much more active than Josie was, and so it makes me think that, oh, maybe things will be better. Um, and I know, like, I can visualize myself as a mother more and like this baby being around where last time I couldn't really do that um, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it but you know I just kind of thought um, like I've had dreams that we've had you know we've had a baby and we're doing different things or whatever um, where last time I really never never had those kind of thoughts before I've learned that um, things like patience and things like um, learning to deal with fear uh, this is the hardest situation to do it in, but I can do it. So I've learned to be, you know, stronger. Um, I've learned to love myself more and just be okay with what's happening in my life and um, think about everything as a blessing instead of ev everything being negative. Robbie will call me and he'll say, "Is she moving a lot?" And I am busy at work or something, and I don't, I haven't paid much attention because I've been mm -hmm. busy. It kind of gets me nervous and I have to think, oh gosh, you know. And then I sit there and try to get her to move and eat something. And, but I always, I mean, she's always active. She's good about that. <laughs> when I need her to, she kicks me, so it helps. Well, it was, it was probably like a month out when I kind of went to the whole, okay, this is kind of my like cross to bear. You know, other people have different things um, and apparently this is mine. My feeling is the baby... It was the baby's way of telling us and taking care of us in the long run. You know, instead of spending tons of time in the NICU, changing our lives, having a handicapped child, you know, and watching this child trying to suffer, you know, if it were to, it just took a peaceful way out. could have given a little bit more time, but either way, I'm still glad that yeah. she's here. <laughs> At the same time, though, you know, it doesn't matter how much time overlaps, I mean, you're never really going to be ready again. Right. So, it was as good a time as any. Yeah. And everything just fell in place so easy that it's like, you know, it was kind of meant to be. And whether or not we were there or not mentally, it ever, like I said, everything fell into place, so really... I think it was kind of taken out of our hands a little bit. I think when after I had him, 
you know, I was tired from the hospital or whatever, but I was beat emotionally. I was just drained. The first two weeks, I mean, I just, I cried and I just felt so much more physically tired. Just the weight on my shoulders and just the way I breathed and just everything. I could just feel it. I was something, and just the weight was gone. And it was amazing. The day after I had him, I was still in the hospital. I remember someone was talking to me and all of a sudden I had this empty feeling in my stomach and I was like, oh my God, I haven't felt any movement. And then I like, the kid's sitting right there, like you already have the damn baby. There are times though, like when she'll grab my finger or something, or she'll do something and I just think, you know, we never got that with Finnegan and that kind of chokes me up a little bit, but I try to just not push that away, but just focus on what we have right now because she is the happiest thing that's ever happened to us, so we gotta, you know, just focus on that and not dwell on the sadness. So. Yeah, but that was like, that was like the worst pregnancy ever. And I love being pregnant. It's, being pregnant is awesome in terms of like, get this big belly, who cares if you gain weight, eat whatever you want. I mean, technically you're not supposed to do that, but you can. And it's just fun, you know, you're like making a baby. Yeah, I joke, er I joke earlier about, you know, in the middle, she doesn't sleep much, but we love hearing her scream in the middle of the night, <laughs> getting up and feeding her, and it's awesome. Yeah. You know, you just sit with her, let her open her eyes and give you the looks like, you don't know what she's thinking, you know, it's kind of cool. But yeah, I wouldn't trade in for anything, mm -hmm. losing sleep. Yeah, who cares? I think I did fairly well. <laughs>